A few days ago, I joined a full vanilla server to chill and enjoy some casual unturned. What I didn't expect at the time though, is that this will become my most insane Rex to riches ever. I started as a nobody and within hours, I became by far the richest and most overpowered player on the server. Since the full video is quite long, it's going to be separated into two parts. Part 2 will be linked in the description once it's uploaded. Before we get into this video, 70% of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed yet, so make sure to do so not to miss out on more videos like this one. And a like on this video would also help me out a lot. Now without further ado, get a drink, grab yourself a snack, lean back and enjoy the first part. When I first joined the server, I noticed that I already had some basic gear on me, which means I must have played on it in the past already. First things first, I went to Heritage and hoped to find some better gear like an assault rifle and attachments. Sadly, I didn't find anything there, so I continued my way towards the military base. On my way there, I saw a bunch of raided bases, one of which I used to put a bad troll in. If I would have died here, I could easily respawn close again without having to travel across the whole map. Oh nice, ammo. Perfect, perfect. A refill my saber tooth. A one peacemaker and two peacemakers in here. Oh, that sounds like it's a back knock off. Let me actually take a peacemaker here with me. Uh, right by the entrance. What is he saying? A <laughs> smoke, really? Uh, I think I saw someone on the tower. I'm gonna hide for now. Because I don't know where the other people are. I don't think he's alone. And I also want to check out his name if possible. Like if I can get close enough to him. So I can check if he's in the team. Alright, it's a swag guy. Swag lover guy. Okay, there's one guy on the tower. He's coming down. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, so that's a team of two, and then there was uh, other people there, basically. Okay, so the two people in the military base, they were in a team together, um, but there was also someone shooting from this hill somewhere. That is like a different team. I'm gonna run back though. There we go. Still some stuff here. Yeah, this guy's still up there, okay. Maybe I can hit him through the... Okay, nah. Didn't kill him. Ooh, this uh, zombie's just ripped a heartbreak. <laughs> That's pretty convenient. All right, he's definitely not a noob. Like he, he knows how to move. He knows a bit how to move. Maybe I can bait him out by pretending I'm a, I'm a noob, only have a pistol. Yeah, he also has a beret, so he has at least 2,400 hours in this game. Problem is I don't have a helmet. Uh, he probably has a helmet. That's a big disadvantage for me. All right, got him. Should be alone there, I believe. Grab his stuff. Okay, nice, nice, nice. He was fully geared. He was absolutely fully geared. Awesome. And here's his heartbreaker. Oh, with the drum and the cross and everything. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so that's probably his locker. Probably has some good stuff in here. I can't get to it though, sadly. Oh, there he is. I think he's on the other tower. He just jumped down, yeah. Surely has to run out of mats soon or like ammo or something, right? <laughs> he finally dead or is he still alive? Come on, man. <laughs> he say get alive. <laughs> what does he mean, man? When I came into military base, he was camping up here the entire time. The problem is I really want to leave, but I kind of can because once I leave, I get shot by someone camping somewhere. Oh shit, he's shooting at me now. Oh my god. Uh, and uh, I think I ran out of meds. Okay, so they're pushing me now both, I guess. The thing is, I really would just want to run away and escape, but uh, I'm gonna die if I do so. But I'm just gonna try whatever, man. 
I successfully managed to leave the military base after fighting with that guy for over 6 minutes straight. I didn't want to go right into more action as my inventory was already pretty stacked. Next plan was to build a base, somewhere not too crowded but still close to some major hotspots. I started building my base right behind Seattle on the golf course until I saw a naked passing by. There's uh, a naked running there, interesting, interesting, probably sees me. Is he coming around? <laughs> hello, hello, can you hear me? Ah, uh, okay. Oh no, why is he following me now? Don't follow me, please. No. No, these are not yours. No. Please drop. No. Drop. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Do you want weapon? Ouch. He saying kill me? Yeah. Uh, okay. See ya. Alright, alright, looking very cozy, a simple 2x1 with an additional triangle airlock. Next thing, I will need some metal and for metal, I will quickly visit this place over here. It usually has a bunch of melee weapons, I can just scrap for metal. And I can also destroy this just for some quick metal as well. And... Easy metal. Alright, there we go. And the second one just like this. Get a handsaw and a bunch of planks, a few sticks and then a wardrobe. Gonna put that very nice in this corner here and the chest. I'm actually going to leave my Alice pack in here because once I kill someone, I probably get another Alice pack anyways. And it's also really good. I don't just want to lose it, you know. I finally had my base set up. It wasn't anything crazy, but enough to store a few items in. I then went towards Seattle and hoped to have some more action there. But I quickly realized that it was completely empty. I then decided to collect as much metal as possible to eventually upgrade my base or craft metal storage until I heard shots in a military base. Oh, there's people also shooting in a military base, which I'm gonna go check out really quick. And this is a saber tooth, which is, is it on the hill or is it in one of the towers? In the tower. Number one. I don't know if they were fighting or if that was a team or something or if there's other people. I just know there's at least one more guy there. I'm gonna quickly place on a plate like this so you can jump up and get this guy's loot at least. Okay, saber tooth, some ammo, a lot of dressings which is good, which I need. Alright, he's dead. Since he escaped, I don't think he had any friends nearby, so I should probably go and loot him. A lot of ammo, a bad. Okay, okay, okay. Problem with uh, ammo is that uh, my inventory is kind of full. I can't really take everything. Alright, let me quickly get my drum and refill my drum. I think that also saves some, some space. And then I'm gonna leave. Okay, who was that? I didn't expect him. He looked really geared though. Gotta be careful. I'll really quick check the area here just to make sure no one else is here. Uh, he seems naked. However, there is someone else though on the street. Okay. He had a heartbreaker. Spec up some. I'm gonna take that. Another guy. Okay, these guys seem naked for the most part. I'm just gonna let them have their little fight there. I have way too much metal on me. <laughs> honestly. Hello. Are you trying to kill me, man? I'm not trying to kill you. Let me check his name. Okay, that's Worthy Winter. All right, all right. And who's this? This is Lucifer. All right, guys, have a good one. Quickly farming some XP. Wait, is this a base? Did someone actually fortify this? What the hell is this? <laughs> uh, better question, is this a car I can use? Oh, hell yeah, it is. That is perfect. All right, we back home with, uh, I think, uh, a bit of loot. I'm going to place the bat down for now. Quickly fill all these crates with whatever I have. Let me go and get some more wood for more storage really quick. Oh, okay. There's some heavy shots going on in Seattle. Okay, got a few more storage here, but I think it's time to go check out uh, what's going on over there in Seattle. Oh, what the fuck? Um, uh, that team of four really wants to die, huh? Is that a player or is that someone dead? I think that's a player. Yeah, that is hiding here in the bush. <laughs> Hey, he had a bunch of metal scrap and stuff. And the uh, heartbreaker. Who is this? Uh, Winter, did I just kill you? Was that you? Yeah? Oh, sorry. Here, here's your gun. Grab your stuff. It's still in the bush. Grab your stuff. I, I kinda trust Winter. I kinda don't because... I don't know, man. He could just kill me at any point. And I... There's nothing I could do about it. Alice back. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right, there's people shooting over there. Oh, they just turned on their light. Okay, one is on the bridge. I don't know who that is. That might be Winter. Okay, who's this? Okay, this is Lucifer. A 
grenade. Okay, I can use that. As always, I'm going to scrap everything, make it into dressing, and keep the metal scrap. More people shooting with aces here. Who's shooting? Uh, what the hell? Let me quickly save all of my stuff and then come back. So, what is this base about? Is that an actual base? I'm confused right now. Wait, yeah. It, it seems to be an actual base. Why would you do that, bro? Why out of wood? There we go. Okay, the zombies is destroying this door. There's another metal door here. Why people fortifying all of these houses? Okay, something needs also being destroyed right now. Something else, bro. <laughs> Still not the door. They're destroying something, but not the door. I think I'm gonna help it a little. Alright, come on, guys. Yeah, this can take a little, but that's okay. Let's see how far is it. Ah, he's still on that door. That's so weird, man. Takes so long. And finally crafting three. So I can now also craft lockers and stuff. Nice. But first of all, I need the zombie to do his work to destroy the doors. Are you still on it? Yes, and the zombie inside keeps destroying other things. Keeps destroying them. What about this door here? Oh, it's finally open. So is there anything in here? Um... Nope. I mean, the garage is still closed with metal doors from both sides, so maybe worth a try. Alright, everybody, please follow me. I am now bringing you guys to a metal door you can destroy. Yep, perfect. What about you guys? Still not done, huh? Crazy, crazy. Oh? Finally, they uh, destroyed something. Yep. Okay, there's a bunch of wardrobes in here. This is good, I guess. This is actually good. Ah, they're getting stuck at something here. What are they getting stuck at? Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of magazines here already. Can I not destroy these? There's a bunch of magazines I can actually pick up. And there's also a bed, which is claimed. There's more magazines on the floor there. Okay, wait. That garage door opened now. And there's a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> really, man? I really want to get in here, though, because I think there's much more than this. Maybe? Uh, the zombie will keep trying to destroy something, but he won't go fully through it, so... So, yeah, I can't really go into that... Wait. <gasps> oh! Wait. No way! Wait, this base... Ha Dude, this base is stacked. This base is actually stacked. So much high kill. <laughs> I just need a sniper now. Vanilla server, by the way. Yeah, I can't access to anything else. Just these two. The bat is claimed... I could destroy the bat, but there's no point in doing that. Okay, I'm gonna definitely go back. Save all the loot I got, all that high care. And these were just two of the wardrobes in that entire base. Who knows what else is in there, right? I also just realized that I will need some water very soon. There we go. Apple juice. More apple juice. And the best part about this raid is that it is really, like, hidden. Like, no one would expect something to be there. Like, I didn't expect anything. And just in general, this part of Seattle, like, no one ever goes to. I mean, how often do you visit Seattle? And how often of these times do you actually go to any of those houses? It is like the baddest place ever. To why it's also a good base location, I guess, because like no one ever checks it. And finally, I can also craft some wardrobes. Very nice. I'm just gonna spread them just in case of raiders. Makes it a bit more secure. And one over here. And one over here. And I would say this base is starting to look better and better and especially this one i finally managed to get my crafting skill upgraded and was now able to get myself some metal wardrobes if raiders would break into my house they at least wouldn't be able to take all of my loot at once i organized all my items in my storages and then went yet again to the military base there's another one here who is this i just gotta kill you sorry man Grenade though, and a second grenade. Ah, uh, this guy was just a naked. Uh, I didn't know that. What I really need though is a sniper, like a timber wolf or grizzly, just to get in that Seattle base. Oh, damn. What was he doing here? Out of nowhere. Grizzly! No way! Oh, uh, oh! Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's quickly move back to my base and save that grizzly. <laughs> Yo, the grizzly, man. And an Alice pack. And a depth of chambering, raw explosives. Like, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, whilst I'm putting everything away here, I just realized that I only died one single time from that tower camper in the very beginning of the video. It's, I'm um, kind of having a good run here. The server's still full, two teams of four. A couple of duos. This server's popping, bro. Uh, I think I should upgrade to metal soon at one point, to be honest. Everything out of wood, uh, not too secure. Alright, so from what I've heard, uh, the people that I'm kind of hunting are in Seattle, or were in Seattle just now. I'm gonna go and check. I do have a suppressor on, just in case. Against a team of four, it will definitely help me. Oh, I just saw someone in here, in that building. I doubt it's a team of four. Uh, they're killing each other right now. But I kind of want to know who that is.
Let's see. Alright, it's the it's a bath water, guys. And some guns, some ammo. Yeah, it's a team of two. Alright. Ooh, a Shadowstalker explosives. A detonator? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Did they find a detonator here? Okay, I gotta extract it right now, man. A detonator. First the grizzly, now the detonator. Do people really not value their stuff? It's really, really strange. Yo, battery with the heart nine, my man. I'm now, for the very first time on the server, gonna cross this bridge to enter the other side of the map. Oh, and this hill over there. I have no idea who that is. Hope it's one of the team members. I have no idea, though. Okay, there's another one. Okay, that's a good sign. Hey, what's his name? Okay, that's this, this girl guy again. I'm just gonna leave him. Don't want to kill him. It's not going to have anything for me. There's only two people left, actually. Two of them already disconnected. Hmm. Not only did it turn night then, but also did it start to rain. The team of two that I was initially following got lost and I had no idea where they went. I already walked around half the map until I finally stumbled upon chopped down trees. Perfect sign of people building a base. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of chopped trees here. Hold on. Yeah, and all the logs we're taking. There's only sticks here. Someone here is building a base. And I think it's that one. Oh, it might be the one down here. Oh, someone there. Yeah, it's that one. Yep, someone right here in front of me. Oh, wait, he's literally right in front of me. Okay, got him. Oh, Grizzly? Just Grizzly with him. While it's chopping down wood. Okay, dude. I can't really push up there because I have nothing to raid. And they are three people. I am just one. So that would be kind of stupid. However, what is this base? Yeah, anyways. I think this is a raided base with a wooden door. Oh, man. People never learn. I can just put that grizzly in here for now. They will not know. And, you know, it's going to be safe in here. Just in case I die right now in this fight, you know. Okay, so what exactly is that base? It is a wooden base. They're just building it now. It wouldn't take much to blow through. Maybe like one charge or two charges. I could actually go and raid them possibly. Oh, someone's sneaking up from behind right now. Alright, they'll probably peek from that side again now. Oh, it's this berry guy. The berry dude with the heart nine in his name, which joined earlier, now sandwiched me between the base owners and him. When I realized that it was him, I asked him if he would like to assist me against that team, since I thought that it was the team of four space, which it wasn't. I see that heart nine in the chat, my man. <laughs> P9, no way. Barry, is this your base? Okay, so uh, why not just teaming up with a uh, teaming up with a with a viewer? Okay, there's one guy in here. There's another guy sniping. I'm kind of exposed here, man. All right, got him. I got some loot. Thank you. Ah, uh, it's green skins, man. All right, he's dead. Good job, Barry. I killed the one guy in the base. They, I don't think they have a bat in that base. Okay, so Barry said that he has some high kill. I actually also have some right here. Ah, uh, that's on my base. I just had a grizzly in here. When I killed him, I put that in here. Okay, no, I have a base. Um, I'll mark it on the map. Jesus Christ. Oh, someone up here. First tree. Oh, okay. I got him. I got him. I think it's it's these guys. Left tower. Uh, I mean, like the close one. You got him? Wait, who did you shoot? Oh, behind a tree? Oh, he shot another one. Wait, I didn't kill him then. He isn't dead then, I think. Now he is. Another one. Yo, they keep coming back from somewhere, man. Keep stacked. Everyone is stacked on here. I don't even know what's going on. Alright guys, this was part one of my most insane racks to riches ever. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. If the second part is already out, it's going to be linked in the description. And yeah, what can I say? The second part is going to be even crazier than the first one. Peace out.